So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to Planets Through Ascendant series. And today we're going to be covering Moon in the 10th house in the sign of Aries for Cancer Ascendant people and what happens when Moon is in the 10th house in the sign of Aries for Cancer Ascendant folks while Moon is ruling the Ascendant. Okay. And as always, if you do not know, if you have this uh, placement, what other planet replacements you have, and uh, to get all the details of your astrological analysis, check out the links here. Check out my full astrological report, including my consultations and books, and link to my academy, Maga Vedic Astrology Academy, where I teach all the things about astrology. And actually, right now, I have my Navamsha chart reading open. Finally, um, after a long time, I brought it back because I've pretty much caught up to it, but just only looking for a very few. Uh, but yeah, it's open right now. So moon in the 10th house in the sign of Aries. So first thing we see, because moon is the Lagna Lord, Lagna meaning the ascendant, the rising sign, we call it Lagna. Because Lagna meaning to attach, okay? So your karmas are attached to you. So obviously, the entire focus of the mind, the entire focus of the individual is on their karma. It's on their actions. It's on their status in society. And this person is strongly focused on their body. Because remember, Aries is just because it's in the 10th house doesn't mean the significance of Aries is lost. Aries is the original first house. This person likes to do things by using their physical body. Now, what can it be? It could be anything. It could be a soldier, fighter, athlete, mechanic, a stripper. I've seen all of that. You know, it could be a ballet dancer. It's like using your physical body. Like such folks don't just want to use their intelligence and analyze things and then discuss it. No, they want to put their hands onto something and take care of things. And one of the things that happens with such people is that they become very critical. Like they always try to find flaws into things. They always want to perfect things. And at the same time, what happens is sometimes they also make hasty decisions. They jump into things too quickly in terms of because they, they want everything quick in terms of their obligation. I want to have the fame in society. I want to have the respect in society. I want to be known in society. I want to have a powerful position in society. How do I get it now? It's about getting it done now. And usually what happens is when they quickly move on to things, when they quickly jump on to things, some of the things that they try to do, gets they're left unfinished. Like for example, let's say even if you have a writer with this particular placement, um, they may have like 10 ideas and they start writing them. They start working on one. Within four or five years, all the seven, eight ideas were written and the story started happening. Three pages, four pages, ten pages. But only one got finished or two got finished all the way. Rest were just like unfinished. Um, the other thing we also see with this particular placement is that such people can be quite pranksters. They love, especially when they're youth, they love playing pranks on people, pranks on their siblings, you know, uh, pranks on their friends and cousins. And at the same time, they become such people who want to jump into safe people. Like they're, if they see something on the, on the road, there's a car flipped, they just don't, they're not gonna go straight. They actually will stop and make sure that they have to, because remember, it's about using the body and using that Martian energy. Mars is all about protection and taking orders. You see, so one will jump onto things. Now, exactly how this will behave, you also have to see the position of the sun um, because sun is the king. What order is the king giving? If sun is in a position where it's making the entire kingdom lazy and lethargic, well, this moon is not going to jump out of the car and try to save something else. This person is not going to be trying to do 10 things at, at the same time. They actually could be quite lazy, moderately lazy. So this is why one placement of planet doesn't apply to all. 
this um, it's kind of like a thumbprint. Each thumbprint is different. And just like that, every astrological chart is different. <coughs> um, and also, obviously, you want to see the dispositor, Mars. Where is Mars placed? And that will show you the strength of how strong this moon is. Uh, but obviously, this is a Raj Yoga. This is like a class one Raj Yoga because you got a Trikon Lord in the Kendra, in the 10th house. Now, one of the things you also have to watch out for, especially when you're using Cancer Ascendant, is the moon waxing or waning. If it's waxing, this person is going to be much more adamant about service in life. Why don't you just do their duties in life? If the moon is waning, this person is going to want to create something big and create something uh, ostentatious. They want to kind of like enterprise. They want to attain the money, the physical wealth. Because one thing I have kind of realized is that the waxing moon is Devas. The waning moon is Asuras. Asuras are more like creators, entrepreneurs, somebody who wants to innovate. Devas who are following the cosmic structure and cosmic law and they do not, they feel like they will only do things when a higher Deva gives them an order. Where the Asuric energy is like, I have this freedom, I'm going to create things. I have this freedom, I want to enjoy things. So there's nothing good or bad. One operates on this end, the other operates on this end. But I mean, in for me, I've seen like waning moon gives more money than even waxing moon in certain positions. So don't ever think like waning moon is bad or waxing moon is good. Um, because there's severities. Because remember, waning and waxing creates a tithi. What tithi moon is in matters. Okay? So anyway, guys, this was my analysis of moon in the 10th house for Aries or in Aries for Cancer, Sun, and people. If you're new to my channel, subscribe below. And if you don't know... All your astrological details, my book reports, consultation, my new Navamsha reading, check out the links here. Otherwise, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.